Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new to this channel, hi, my name is Anjum Sheikh and in this video, we are going to talk about how not to study for UPSC. This is going to be a compilation video of, uh, you know, past few years and how I have learned that what things we should not do while studying for UPSC and what we can do rather than this that is going to help us in the future. This is going to be a great video. So just uh, sit back and enjoy the video and get to know what and how you should not study for UPSC. Taking notes have been the biggest part of my preparation and I was like, man, I have wasted so much time on this and was that worth it or I could have done it a little bit different. And that was the time or that was the realization after watching that video that, yeah, I did a mistake and I shouldn't have done that. And now uh, as I have been learning from my mistakes and I have adapted the new technique and that is really helpful and I have been using that for the past one month and trust me guys it is really effective as these techniques are not effective let's move on to a technique that actually works and that is active recall and I know you guys must have heard about this and active recall is by far the best technique out there basically what active recall means is active actively recalling something that you have previously heard or actively reviving information from your head and triggering that part of your mind to remember something basically this is questioning your mind again and again the more you question your mind the more uh, the information tends to remember in your head this is how it works you try and constantly push that part of your mind to remember something this is how uh, the information will just be there in your head for a long period of time this is how active recall the works. next point is to not study with the fear of failing sometimes in the back of the mind we think that we are going to fail and that definitely affects our studies so the point is not to study with the fear of failure. The reason why I did not give UPSC exam was that I, will, I am a bit scared. Uh, everyone, everyone that is preparing for this is very, very scared. And I was a bit scared and that was the reason I did not fill up the form because I was very, very, uh, you know, afraid of the failure. And that was the reason I did not, uh, you know, fill the uh, form for UPSC. We need to overcome this fear of failure and then only we can definitely concentrate on our studies. The next point here is not to study right after you get up in the morning. You need to set a morning routine and after completing your morning routine, you should sit and study. This will definitely help you motivate yourself and you will feel much better. Just a beautiful morning. So I decided to go out for a quick walk just to refresh my mind and you know, get the kickstart for the day. Morning walks will definitely give you a great perspective in life. You can just refresh yourself. You will feel good about yourself and just, uh, you know, getting in touch with the nature in the morning is the best morning routine that you can have for yourself. Here, I want to take a quick moment and talk to you all about the UCSC 4.0 that is Unacademy Civil Services Championship that is held on December 17th. Either you can give the exam at 11 a.m. or you can give it at 5 p.m. They have two timings and it is on 17 December. You know, this is one of the India's biggest scholarship tests and it is back. Uh, test for your preparation, uh, you know, and you can see how your preparation uh, is going on against the, all the aspirants all over the country. You can enroll now and the prizes are crazy. You can have a day with a bureaucrat. Oh my God, this is this is the dream of every aspirant. Or uh, you can have a physical uh, boot camp with top academy educators. You can, you know, meet the top academy educators. You can win a MacBook, you can win an iPad, or you can win 100% scholarship of uh, the other academy lectures that they have and you know this is a great great opportunity for everybody you know if you are somebody that wants to clear upsc but you don't have the funds for it or you don't have the money for the tuition fees this is the great opportunity for you guys so you know i'll put the link in the description box below just go enroll this exam will give you a perspective of how your uh, preparation is going on and how you are as in comparison for different aspirants. So, you know, I'll just have the link in the description box below. Go there and enroll for the exam. The next point here in how you should not study for UPSA is not having organization of all your notes. This is how I store my notes. You guys can see this is a box file and inside of this I have all the notes uh, for the vision eyes. Uh, in this I have four topics that I have written here if you guys can see. Uh, yeah, 
so the topics are economics science and tech disaster management and security so this box file contains those four topics and all the notes specific notes for these topics are then uh, bifurcated in uh, this box file and every page in this you know taken out from the punched notes that we receive and then it is very nicely arranged in this so now you guys can see i can take out the individual notes and i can study from these this gives us a bit of flexibility to study through these notes and then i can you know very nicely write on this and if the notes are punched now then it becomes very difficult to write on the student notes but now i can just take out loose pages and read from that study from that carry only the pages that i need to study this just gives me a lot of more flexibility and this makes it easy for me to study from the notes and I Another thing that you need to avoid is over grinding. Sometimes you need to take occasional study breaks. You need to refresh your mind to be more motivated and do a better and effective study session. So prioritizing your mental health and prioritizing your well-being is our at most priority because as I have always said, give yourself preparation is just a part of life. This is not your entire life. You need to see how you can you know be healthy and be fulfilled in whatever you are doing at the end of the day. So I just want to say take breaks whenever possible because you definitely deserve a break uh, for the hard work that you are doing and definitely take a break so you can you know grind off at the moment that is of at the most important that is just before the exam. I found somebody I say you don't cross my mind And she doesn't know that your favorite place is still mine Another point of how not to study for UPSC is by making it your entire life making it the only thing that you do in your life this is not what you need to do like preparation for any exam is just a part of your life you cannot make it your entire life I made my preparation my entire life. I missed out on a lot of things in my life. That's the reason I just took a step back. I was like, I need to take a break from my preparation because it was getting a bit toxic, and you know the mental health, the mental stability was getting affected a little bit. That's the reason I thought maybe taking a cheer little break would help myself. It's all about finding the happiness. It definitely is all about finding the happiness because. uh you know these days i am trying and cherishing uh you know happiness uh, the smile the genuine smile i am just uh, you know uh i just don't know how to express this in words but i definitely am you know seeing the importance of how much uh you know doing smaller things the short short moments that you have in your life that gives you happiness uh these moments are definitely uh going to be the best moments of your life so just find the moments that genuinely make you happy and this is definitely gonna you know uh, stick right here in your head for the rest of your life so just cherish these moments the moments that make you happy spending hours reading the newspaper just to get the gist of current affairs is not how you are supposed to study for upsc I study current affairs from YouTube videos every morning uh, because it is uh, easy to study. Uh, you know, watch a video and understand the current affairs rather than you know uh, downloading the PDF of the newspaper or you know getting the physical newspaper, turning the pages and you know reading everything. I think that you waste a lot of time when you you know take and read the newspaper. You get distracted by uh, different news going on in there that are. quite not relevant for our exams so watching uh, youtube videos can give you a perspective of uh, the what exactly you need to study through current affairs and they also revise us with uh, you know previous uh, news that were going on that is related to the current news that is going on right now you know if you get the point so right now i'm going to watch a youtube video for current affairs and i am not uh, you know specifically telling about any current affairs uh, channel you can just go on youtube search our current affairs for today and every morning at around 9 10 you can sit and watch a uh, 30 40 minutes current affairs videos and that would be a great start to your day having no clear bifurcation of the study topics is definitely what is going to push you in a productivity slump you should have a clear bifurcation of what topics you need to cover for your preparation right here you guys can see i have a page for uh, general studies 
in here you guys can see i have uh, made a uh, different pages for different subjects that we have so i'll just open history and if i open this you guys can see uh, right there i have all the topics that i need to cover for history and the ones that i have completed i have just checked mark it like this that means that i have studied that revised that i am pretty sure i'm pretty confident in myself that i can you know answer those correctly so this is why i most majority of my time use uh, notion for just to have a clear understanding of what subjects i have and what i'm doing so uh, here you guys can see these are the subjects for geography these are the ones that i have completed these are the ones that i need to complete in future and right here in economics i'll just show you because i am going to study economics today so this is the page for economics i have done uh, these many subjects for macroeconomics these many subjects for indian economics and right here if i just scroll down these are the two pages that i use the most uh, this one is a notes page if i open this page up now you guys can see here this is the subject that i am going to study today that is money and these are the topics that i have studied earlier and i have page for every different topic that i have studied so i'll just show you the money page if i open this you guys can see these are all the notes that i have made while watching the nunal sir's economy lecture so you guys can see these are the notes that i am making and right now uh, today i'm going to just continue down here and i prefer to have notion notes for economics because uh, you know writing uh, everything that nunal sir says is very very difficult so i thought maybe having these notes i can just uh, take the screenshot uh, from the ppt and i can stick it up here because i am a active learner i need something uh, to type or to write to make uh, the studies a bit more easier i don't know why you guys underestimate youtube so much because there is so good so great content on youtube and that is free of cost you guys don't have to pay anything for that and you guys think that uh, if, if it is free it must not be top notch but you are underestimating youtube i myself you know studied almost uh, uh, 70 to 80 percent from youtube because it's just great uh, it fits in your head and it's easy to access you have you can have your laptop you need to have your notes right here you just take down notes uh, on your notepad and it just is the best way to study uh, and if you're studying late night then youtube videos is just great because you, you don't get distracted you can focus on the video and just taking your notes 